Hi, welcome to my spirit installation guide. We will need a couple of things while we get started. The first one of those things is going to be the game folder. And we can download the game off of goodoldgames.com or oldgamesdownload.com. Uh, we'll download it here. But first, let me walk through everything. The second thing we'll need is it going to be a virtual machine. A virtual machine allows you to run, let's say, an older version of Windows on a new version of Windows. So we're going to need Windows XP to play uh, Spirit on a Windows 10 machine. Uh, and I like to use VirtualBox, so I'll link to VirtualBox and be doing my stuff in VirtualBox. The second thing we're going to need is a copy of Windows XP Professional. Now, it's not entirely legal to <laughs> own uh, this copy of Windows XP Professional, but uh, we're going to own it anyway. To get Windows XP Professional, we're going to go to oldgamesdownload.com and search up Windows XP VM. From there, there'll be a link. On this webpage, there'll be a link to Windows XP Professional. I cannot link this in the description of the YouTube video because the YouTube video would be taken down. So I'm just throwing that out there. By the way, uh, to get the VirtualBox, we'll go to virtualbox.org. We'll hit Download VirtualBox, and we'll get the Windows host version. And oh, let me click that. I already have it downloaded, but you'll just walk through it. It's very simple. You will need, after these three downloads, after these three downloads, you'll need uh, 7-Zip if you do not already have it. 7-Zip for uh, Windows 64-bit. 7-Zip will allow you to take a zip file and extract it, uh, and you will need to do that. Uh, so once you have Spirit downloaded and, and take it from your downloads folder and put it onto your desktop, uh, once you have VirtualBox downloaded and the same thing, removed from your downloads folder and put it onto your desktop, uh, and let's see, let's see. Oh, right, and the Windows XP that I have right here. Once you have all of that, we're going to minimize our windows. We are going to new folder. And I'm just going to type in spirit. Once we have all that, we're going to extract using 7-zip, extract files. From here, we'll go to, this is where we're extracting to, so we're going to go to Browse. Why is it all weird? We are going to go to where we just created the Spirit folder. Boom. Okay. Once we have all that, we'll hit OK. It's, the stuff is extracting. So inside of our Spirit folder, we have the same file we just downloaded, but it's not compressed. Do it again. And we have the game files and some README text, so we don't really need to worry about uh, inside the game files, we're going to have the spirit.iso. Uh, an ISO disk image file is like a virtual disk. So we need that virtual disk to play the game. And it's got all the files on it. It's got everything we need to play the game. So once we have that, let's close out of that. Next up, we go to Windows XP Professional.rar. I'm just going to throw that into the spirit folder because it'll be easier. And then we're going to Go to 7-zip, right, we're going to right click, 7-zip, extract here. It's just easier that way. And we wait for this to extract. Once this is extracted, uh, we're going to get a Windows XP Professional.iso file. It is similar to the spirit.iso file. And we will need that to allow the virtual box to go, oh, you got a, you got a Windows XP. Like, cool. Once we have the ISO file, we will minimize and install VirtualBox. This is a this is the virtual machine. Go through everything. Go through everything. I, I just went through the defaults. Install. Installing VirtualBox. Don't want to start it yet. Finish. Okay, we can. I can just get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. I'm just gonna put this on the side. And then we'll open up Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is our virtual machine. And here we have the VirtualBox Manager. So step one, I want to make this a nice. Hold on, hold on, boys. One second, one second. Sorry. Here we have the VirtualBox Manager. From here we'll go to New. And 
it'll, yours will start off like this. Uh, we're going to click Expert Mode. It's better that way. And you can name it whatever you'd like. Uh, I would go Windows XP. And I would raise the memory size. Well, you want, you want to switch your Windows XP 32-bit to Windows XP 64-bit. And you want to probably raise the amount of memory you're going to use to 1024. That's about a gigabyte of RAM. You want to create a virtual hard disk now. Create. Let me back. Make sure I have everything correct, that's all. Create. Uh, same thing, create. And boom, we have a virtual machine. Now we have to add our spirit.iso and our Windows XP Professional.iso into the virtual machine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to press settings. We are going to make sure our version is Windows XP 64 bit. Go through all these settings real quick. Okay, from here on storage, I'm going to click this add optical drive. And we're going to click add. From here, we're going to click the Windows XP Professional.iso. We're going to click open. And then we're going to click choose. And that adds it. We're going to do the same thing to the spirit.iso. Boom. Choose. Once we have all this, make sure it says like primary slave, secondary slave, primary master, just making sure it's all good. We're going to click OK. If you don't click OK, the settings won't save. Uh, let's go back into the display and make sure they're saved. Sorry, storage. Storage. And make sure they're saved. They are. Everything looks good. We're going to click start. From here on, we're inside the virtual machine. Now, the virtual machine will run kind of weird. It's it's a awkward installation. To start, sometimes you might not get access to your mouse. So you're going to press right control, like right control, and Windows, or I'm sorry, right control and right arrow key at the same time. This will give you control of your mouse. I just like deleted the control of the mouse because I already had it, so I'm gonna press it again, and boom, I've got it again. Uh, like I said, it's a little awkward, and you're probably going to have to use the tab and arrow and enter key uh, to start this installation. And when we get onto the actual Windows XP, we will then be using our mouse. So we're going to just press enter. We're going to press enter again. Most of the default settings are just okay. There's no reason to mess with that at all. We're going to go through the formatting. All these installation and all this installation is absolutely okay. We're just going to wait. And from here, we will be clearing all that and going through the Windows XP install. <sighs> uh, excuse me earlier if you heard my Discord messages. I'm this install might take some time, so it's all good. There is nothing wrong with it, and it will not take approximately 4 39 minutes. It'll probably take more like 10. I wanted to uh, probably take this time to like apologize because this is like the first YouTube video I've ever made, uh, and I'm not really good at it. You know, I'm not good at like uh, editing YouTube videos or making YouTube videos. So if I am confusing or like all over the place or jumbles, well, that's honestly probably just my, me, uh, and I apologize. I am uh, doing my best. So yeah, so uh, okay, there are some things you can know about the virtual machine. Uh, besides the right control, right arrow key uh, to get control of your mouse if you do not have it, uh, you can always press file, or I'm sorry, machine and reset if you feel like something went wrong in the installation or like you just want to go back to the beginning, you can press machine and reset and that works that's how you just get a brand new install you could also always make a new virtual machine the way we just did if you want to close out of this besides you know pressing x you could always go to close and from there there'll be three options one of those options is save current state and that allows you to boot up windows xp and the exact spot you left it at uh, that's very useful because i've when i've not done that i've often had issues so when I close the virtual machine, I often press save the machine state. 
and I don't do the other two. Uh, we won't do that now though. So I'm gonna name my software. I'm gonna just name it software because I don't I don't know, bro. I don't know. Computer name. Computer one sounds great. I don't care about the time. And it will install. Uh, let me think of some other stuff. At one point, I think there's going to be an option to increase your resolution. To play Spirit, I would say don't do that. I've had issues with when you change your resolution and then like Spirit, like audio messes up or it's like the uh, display messes up. So I would keep your resolution like this. But if you can get it working, if you can get your if you can get your 1920 by 1080, do so. Uh, it's up to you. I just, you know, I've been doing this for a little bit and I've, <laughs> I've run into a number of issues. The virtual machine can be finicky. Windows XP can be finicky. Uh, Spirit can be finicky. But this is the most consistent way I found to get this to work, to get the game to work. My apologies. Yeah, I hope I don't forget to cut anything because uh, I'm not going to lie. This is like my eighth take doing this and I've been more than a little bit awkward talking to myself while recording a video. I don't know how people do this for a living. I, I'm bad at it. This will probably be like the only video I make for like the rest of my life, to be honest. I've never had to before. I probably never will have to now or after. So this setting setup is taking a little bit. I bet if we raised the RAM from like 1024 to like, well, it's double 1024, 20. Hold on. I know math. 2048. I bet if we raised 2048, aka 2 gigabytes of RAM, this would have gone a little bit faster. But I don't know doesn't phase me at all, you know. Click OK. Let's click Next. Not right now. It's good to go through defaults or click not right now for things because, you know, it's not really important. It's Windows XP. Okay, so we have Windows XP here. I'm going to click Start my computer, spirit, double click, install game, get rid of that, press I agree, next, install, okay, we're going to click play game, Oops. play game, hey, it's a good, it's a good sign if like the screen isn't flickery and distorted. And the sound sounds great. I think I've had issues with uh, screen distortion and sound issues, and I don't think I got it this time. Uh, hopefully, you won't either, but you never know. Okay, from here, I'm having issues with my mouse, right? So I'm gonna press right control, right arrow key, and I will have my mouse. I'm going to input, I'm going to turn off mouse integration, or maybe it's on, who knows. And from here, I'll have mouse control. And there are your options. Play, new game. Uh, I'm going to type in Nathan. And it should be good, right? This is me just making sure it's good. I'm just going to skip all that. Yeah, hey, look, it works. It's pretty dope, not going to lie, it's pretty cool. Okay, to exit the game, you're going to want to go to, yeah, this is the options, right? Options, exit. Okay. You probably do not want to exit using the window. Exit again. If you exit uh, using the window, there's a good chance Windows XP might just, like, collapse and break. <laughs> it's very finicky. So, here we have the desktop. You want to quit. Yep, right arrow key. See, uh, it's finicky here. I want to go to the file, but I cannot. So, I'm going to control, right arrow key. No, control. Sometimes it's not right uh, right control, right arrow key. Sometimes it's just right control, like that time right there. So I have control my mouse. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to close. I'm going to save the machine state. Boom. That'll close Windows XP. And if I ever wanted to go back into it, I could press start. And I'll go right back into it. Uh, 
some quick notes, some quick notes. Let's see if I could think about what I, the quick notes. Okay, so if we go into our the spirit folder we made, you might get a you might get a you're gonna get a Windows product key. Uh, if at any point you input that Windows product key, so you will technically own Windows XP. Uh, that's for if you own Windows XP or you use the same virtual machine for you know 30 days and like a you get a message saying hey you are, hey do you have a product key and you go like yeah here you go and then you click it and then oops you don't see the 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 thing but there you go it's right there it's no big deal you've got it right there just input that uh yeah you're good I would just put the spirit folder somewhere you don't need same thing with all these other stuff so you can probably delete the zip you don't need it. Uh, and there you go. I hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, that's this is the end of the video. I'm, I'm not good at ending, so uh, thank you, and I hope you enjoy the game, and goodbye.